Okay, I'm back. Finally back after the European Championships. It was just a crazy experience, a whole lot of fun. A huge thank you to the many of you out there who paid for the Weightlifting House official pay-per-view stream. The feedback we got was amazing. It's something we absolutely want to continue to pursue. So a huge thank you just right off the top before we get into this. <laughs> I wanted to bring back the weightlifting house news shit and I want to bring it back, you know, I want to bring it back routinely. I want to make it even better than it has been before. So that's my plan. Uh, but before I even get into the news, I want to ask which of these two saves you guys think are better because I've been sent these saves over the last few weeks. The first one you can see playing right here, right now. It's this lady. It's unbelievable. She's clearly an elite weightlifter because we're looking at over 100 kilos in the snatch. And that save, the mobility with her left leg is just absurd. And then we have this one playing with this young, skinny guy. Uh, shout out to him, though, because he's a fighter, and he twists, and he, he fights, and um, both of them actually go up as two of the most crazy saves I've ever seen. I got sent them, like, a day apart, so vote uh, one or two for um, crazy lady or crazy kid. That's what I want to know. Also, quick reminder, everything is now back in stock. We've got the weightlifting house wrist straps. We've got the weightlifting house straps. These are actually mine. These are my house straps that I use when I'm snatching. But of course, we've got elite straps as well. Uh, and then everywhere we have boxes of 30 thumb tape. So if you're a gym owner or you just have 15 different thumbs um, and you need extra thumb tape, then you can get one of these. Uh, put it up in your gym or have it in your home. You can sell thumb tape. 10 pinks, 10 blues, 10 black. It's pretty cool. Cheapest way to get thumb tape anywhere. And then also something that's really cool is the fact that in Europe now we are warehousing everything. So if you live in Europe anywhere and you're buying stuff, it's shipping from Europe, which means that the time for things to arrive is very quick. And also there's no like awkward taxes or anything. So finally, we're set up in Europe, which is great news. So as I mentioned, back from Europeans, it was an incredible competition. We filled some unbelievable weightlifting and the training sessions were great, but the competitions were amazing. And I wanted to go through the top five Sinclairs on the women's side and the top five Sinclairs on the men's side, just so we could actually look at who were the sort of the best lifters there, pound for pound, kilo for kilo, I should say. Now, I couldn't get the body weights of all of these athletes, so I've basically taken their weight category to choose their body weight. So if you're a, an 81 or if you're a 64, I basically put you as 64 rather than 63.1, something like that. So on the women's side, what's interesting is the top three all came from the same category. But then at number five was actually Irina Decker, uh, the 81 kilo Ukrainian. She snatched 116 kilos. She cleaned and jerked 137 kilos, 253 total. That gave her a 290.87 Sinclair. And she was phenomenal. In number four from France was Dorothea Kante, uh, 59 kilo lifter. She went 96, 117 and uh, 290.9 on the old Sinclair list, which is like three hundredths of a Sinclair above Irina Decker. So potentially, actually, Irina was above. I just don't know what their actual body weights were. And then this is where it gets interesting. The top three finishes from the women's 55s end up having the third, second, and first highest Sinclair from the entire European Championship. So the bronze medalist was Nina Sturks, who a lot of us know. She made this incredible cut from the 59s down to the 49s for the Olympic Games. Absolutely incredible weightlifter. She was the highest ranked weightlifter by Sinclair at the Junior World Championships at the start of May this year. That's how good she is. Uh, so she snatched 94. She clean injected 111. 205 total at 55. That gave her a 293.58 Sinclair. The second place who took silver, uh, Camilla Karnatop from Ukraine, 94 113. That's 296.4. And then the winner, the top Sinclair on the women's side, was the winner of that 55 kilo category from Albania, Evangela Veli, uh, who snatched 95. She cleaned up 113. It's a 208 kilo total. And what's crazy is not only did she have the best Sinclair, she also probably looked like the strongest athlete. Like it, was, it wasn't the easiest win, but also she powered her cleaner jerks, as you're probably seeing right now. So she just blew everyone in that category out of the water. And she was coming back from injury. She actually spent some time training here in Birmingham in the UK, like just a few miles from me at MSC, a gym that I've been to a bunch of times. So that's very cool. But shout out to Ava. She uh, hit 297.88 in the Sinclair. Okay, and then over to the men's side to look at the top five Sinclairs. This may actually interest you. I'm sure a lot of you thought to yourselves, 
Who did the best on the men's side? Well, there was one world record at the entire competition. That was in the 89 kilo category. That was by Antonino Pizzolato from Italy. So surely he has the number one Sinclair. But he didn't. And also, you're probably thinking, okay, the top spot's going to be vacant because Asher only went four for six. He missed his second attempt clean and jerk. He didn't take a third attempt. So we've got a vacant top spot. So who's in it? Who's in that top spot? Well, we're going to find out. So at number five, Carlos Nassar from Bulgaria. The uh, I think he's still 12. Um, no, the 17-year-old Bulgarian. He's, he was literally still 17 when he did that. Uh, 89, 171 snatch, 211 clean jerk, 382 total. That's a 444 Sinclair. Bear in mind with all of these, the reference point to go off is 500. That's the best Sinclair ever. Some people say it's 501. It depends what quad you measure it in. Uh, 500, Naim Suleimanoli. So 444, Carlos Nassar. Number four, Gormanassian from Armenia. 210, 236, 446. It's a 448.5. Number three went to Vrazdat Lalian, uh, 211, 240, 453, Sinclair. Number two, Nino from Italy, the 89, 175 snatch, 217 world record, clean and jerk, 392 total, the most spectacular performance of the whole competition, 455. And then number one, breaking his... 51 made lift streak this guy's made 51 lifts in a row internationally has an off day comes back from an injury only takes four attempts snatches eight kilos below his best clean and jerks 22 kilos below his best still has the best sinclair of the entire competition that's how good he is slash talakadze from georgia the plus one in nine athlete he weighed 177 down seven kilos from the last time we saw him 217, 245, a 462 Sinclair. Um, just insane. So those are your top Sinclairs. On the men's side, it's Lasher. On the women's side, it's uh, Evangelia Veli from Albania. One of the few Albanians to make a total, <laughs> to be quite frank. Uh, but yeah, this, this European Championships was, was a lot of fun. And I have to say that for me, you know, normally I'm in the training hall a lot. Uh, and I'm not necessarily in the competition filming everything. And if I am, I'm often editing or doing various other things. But by being forced almost by doing this live commentary with Max to sit and watch every every session and, you know, build on the narratives and have all the research. You know, we interviewed so many athletes. We had every competition that every athlete had done. We had so much information that we were able to just use to lend. We also then had, you know, Nicholas in the back room filming and sending us information about who was where. It just enriched the experience and it made me enjoy weightlifting as a sport more than I ever have done. I love weightlifting as uh, an enjoying, an enjoy, enjoyful, as a joyful training, you know, something that you do in the gym with your friends. I love it. I love watching athletes. Uh, but the actual competition was amazing. I just really love being a part of it like that. So, yeah, we're going to do more of them. You can actually still watch them because they're all on demand. I'll put a link to it down below if you want to just check out all of the sessions, but they are all there. Um, but yeah, thanks to everyone who, who chose Weightlifting House to watch it because we had a lot of people who watched the European Champs through us and it was yeah it was very epic. Let's take a look now at some of the biggest lifts from around the world outside of the European Championships. Now, obviously, it's been a while since I've done one of these and there were so many lifts. I actually decided I'm just going to go with like four or five athletes for this. There are some other big lifts, which you're going to be surprised that I haven't mentioned. They're going to be in next week's. I'm going to save them for that. Uh, but I just didn't want to make this first episode back too ridiculously long. But I still want to mention some crazy lifts. The first one, actually, well, the first two, I'm going to go to the USA. Uh, Olivia Reeves. Now, this is an older video. It's probably about a month old at this point. But I never got time to mention it. And it's just amazing. Uh, she's a 71 kilo athlete. She's still a teenager. She bats what 200 kilos. Uh, she made all men and women around the globe feel incredibly weak when she did that. She posted it. Um, and she didn't even seem to care that much that she'd done it, uh, <laughs> which just makes it more impressive. So huge shout out to Olivia Reeves for hitting that 200 kilo back squat. It's just ridiculous. Uh, next to a bit more of a veteran of the sport, Matty Rogers, who has done incredibly well recently. I don't know what category she's in at the moment. She might be a 76. She might be an 81. She's probably more likely an 81, maybe. Uh, she hit a 155 kilo jerk, which is staggering the, the the u.s women are very good overhead in the jerk we've seen like you know kate knight meredith uh matty hit these enormous jerks 
Uh, but 155, I believe, is the heaviest from any non-super. So huge shout out to Matty for that. And then also motivating for all the, the longer limb lifters like me. Uh, she hit a 190 bat squat, 19 kilo personal record. So there is hope for us all. Uh, so shout out to Matty Rogers for that. Then we've got David Leete, you know, our big boy from down south, uh, from New Zealand, strongest man in the oceanic region. Uh, 250 kilo jerk. That's a 10 kilo personal record in the jerk. Uh, the heaviest jerk ever in a weightlifting house belt. So huge shout out to David Leete. He's going to be over in the UK at some point soon because we've got the Commonwealth Games coming up in Birmingham, uh, which is amazing. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Um, so... Yeah, hopefully we can get him here because obviously we've got platforms downstairs. We need to get him in and get a training session with him here. A little interview maybe along along with that. But dude is so strong. And 10 kilo jerk at that level is epic. So that's very cool. Uh, and then next, and this is a this is a set of lifts that went under the radar. Uh, Lou De Lin. Do you remember Lou De Lin? Do you remember when we used to talk about Lou De Lin all the time on the news show? He's the up and coming Chinese 81. And then suddenly it was like, okay, Olympics are happening. He stopped competing because it was Li Dai-in versus Lu Jun, and Lu Dai-lin just kind of disappeared. Well, he's very much back, and he's very much going to be in the battle uh, amongst the Chinese athletes for the slot, presumably at 89. The difficult thing is for China, they've got Tian Tao, they've got Lu Jun, who may or may not still be competing, we don't really know. They've got Li Dai-in, uh, and now they've got Lu Dai-lin, and it's a tough one. Lu Dai-lin looks like he could be a front runner in the snatch, uh, as evidenced by what we're about to watch right now. 170 kilo hang snatch double. Now, he was an 81. I'm going to assume he's an 89. He looks a little thick right now, or at least he's sort of moving up. Maybe he weighs 85, I don't know. Uh, but a 170 hang snatch double. Bear in mind, the winning snatch from Europeans this year was from Nino, and that was 175, and he just doubled 170 from the hang. He is also better from the hang, and we've got to bear that in mind, but still... Uh, and then a 180 kilo hang snatch single. And I don't think it's something that he hasn't done before. His coach is barely, you know, barely cares, barely even watching. He's got very interesting technique. Uh, so something else I want to mention, uh, which is news. Now, I'm not going to go through every single team that's been selected for the Commonwealth Games because there are a lot of teams, a lot of phenomenal athletes. And it's either like you go through all of them or you go through none of them. But I think we can go through some of them. I think we can go through the English team. I'm not picking them because I'm English. I'm picking them because it's in England, the Commonwealth Championships this year. So it's like Commonwealth Games, sorry. So it's a home nation. So I'm going to mention the athletes that were picked. But then maybe we'll have a link down below. So if you want to see other athletes from other teams, from Wales, from India, I don't know, wherever, then you can check those out too. But here is the announcement of the England weightlifting Commonwealth team. So we have seven women and seven men have been selected, and they are as follows. From lightest to heaviest, we'll start with the women so far. Noren Gulam at 49. Uh, Freya Mora is going in at 55, which uh, I wonder if that might be the last time we see her at 55, because obviously it's not an Olympic category, so she'll presumably go up to 59. Jessica Gordon-Brown at 59. Um, also, shout out to Freya for getting a new personal record in the clean and jerk at Europeans. That was, that was a good lift. Zoe Smith at 64. That's cool. That's really exciting. Um, I have no idea what shape Zoe's in, but always fun to see her because she's been around for so long. She's just killing it. Uh, Deborah Olawodi at 76. Emily Sweeney at 87. And Emily Campbell at 87 plus. And for those of you wondering where um, Sarah Davies is, she is um, currently serving a ban, a British weightlifting ban, um, as many of you know. I'm not going to go into it, but there are articles out there which will explain why she's serving the ban. So I don't know if she's going to get added to this. I had assumed that she was once her ban was over. That she would then be announced as competing. But they've already got seven women in there. So I don't know exactly what's going to happen there. We'll have to wait and see. I'll update accordingly. On the men's side, 55, we have Benjamin Hickling. 67, we have our boy Jaswan Shergill, the craziest saver in British weightlifting, who has trained here with us at Weightlifting House a few times because he's a fellow British, fellow Brummy Birmingham athlete. Uh, Jack Oliver in at 73. Chris Murray at 81. Cyril Thatcher at 96. Andrew Griffiths at 109. And Gordon Shaw, the big boy, at 109+. plus. So that is the English team for the Commonwealth Games. Very excited for that. We'll try and head out to some training camps and capture uh, them training as well as a few other teams around that Commonwealth Games period. 
Okay, now I want to bring back the people's lifts. And this week, th- this week only, I'm going to do just people on weightlifting AI because um, because we've got a two-week discount code and it's Euros 2022. So if you want to try it without having to put in any payment details, just give it a go. Just see if the hype is worth it, which it is because it's very cool. Uh, then, yeah, that's why I'm doing it this way. But I'll get back to normal people's lifts soon. But let's go through some of these now. Okay, we're going to kick off here with my boy Training Log with... Uh, AI. Um, I can't remember his name. I will take a look, but he posts all of his lifting. Um, he wears the uh, Chinese team shorts and he just moves very nice. I like the way that he lifts a lot. Uh, he's very methodical with his lifting. Um, so there we go. It's a nice lift. Uh, that shows his lift. So 58 for sets of four in the snatch. Uh, took him up to 62 he then um, he would have probably made all of those reps on his third set it's just he didn't rate them as being particularly nice probably a little bit wobbly maybe on one of the reps so he gave it two white lights and then it decided to keep him at 62 rather than take him up again nice above knee block clean high pulls plus what's he got here Clean. In fact, maybe we should just imagine that on the next slide it's going to say what his program was. It's okay. It's a nice, very nice re rack as well. Hey, now, okay. Tall boy with the squat jerk. Very nice. If you're a squat jerk, you can actually select squat jerk as your, um, yeah, there it is, as your preferred jerk method and it programs for you accordingly, which is kind of cool. Okay, 86 kilo for trips. Tweak my back during BJJ. What are you doing jujitsu for if you're a weightlifter? All right, well, this is do even lift. Um, and these 86 kilo triples look very nice. Don't forget also, if you're, in the, uh, if you're on the program, you then also get access to the performance community where you can get technical feedback from a load of different coaches, including me, including Max, including Joshua Gibson. Uh, so maybe worth checking that out. Okay, here we have China Doll, who is actually pretty active on the performance community. She moves so much better than she realizes. There's... Look at that head through position. It's impressive. Yeah, she's actually a lot better than I think she thinks. Um, of course, it's great to have a critical eye with your own technique. Um, and there are some technical improvements, no doubt, that she can she can work on, which she does work on because she gets feedback from the coaches in the group. But she's definitely one of those athletes who probably critiques her lifting almost more than she needs um she's very good very talented she could be good she just needs to be stronger that's definitely the main thing holding her back at this point but you can see with all of these snatches that she's pretty damn solid in that catch position really nice overhead position interesting um wrist position though like she's not got that extended wrist position she's very much stacked with these nice wrist straps i've got on and then let's move to uh, Erica E. A. lifts. Maybe it's Erica E. A. lifts. Uh, but anyway, she's moving very well as well. So good to see her doing well in the old app. What's it say? Weightlifting AI had me work up to fours at 82 kilos on my front squats. Check out slide three. Okay. We're going to check it out. Okay. So this is a good example then. So it was sets of four in the front squat. Uh, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six sets, as you can see by those six red dots across the top. Red uh, represents strength exercises in the app. Uh, and then she rated five RIR for every set, so she was clearly doing well, which makes sense because she said she had a week off. So it bumped her up over those. Then it's going to learn from that, program accordingly for the next uh, workout. So uh, that's exciting to see her do so well there. And let's just see, were they 5 RIR? 2. I don't know, this... 3. 4. I don't know, Erica. I don't know, actually. Could she have done another 5 reps? Really? I know that I couldn't. If I was moving slow on the 4th rep, I wouldn't be able to. But maybe Erica's a grinder, so I'm not going to call her out on it too much. 
Um, but great lifting at Erica, nonetheless. Okay, and then, oh, we've got to shout out my boy, Barbell Yoda. Been following him for a long time, just on Instagram, just as me. Uh, and then I was very excited to see him jump onto the AI. And he's doing really well. Um, for being a dad and being extremely busy with his young kids, he's doing bloody well. Um, so, yeah, 107 kilo triple in the snatch. Heaviest in a long time at weightlifting.ai made me do it. Very, very cool to see. So huge shout out to Barbell Yoda there for making these reps. And you can see that he's good. Like, yeah, he's a he's a um, experienced athlete for sure. All right, guys. And that is going to be everything from this week's episode of the Weightlift House News Show. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Don't forget, code EUROS2022 gives you two weeks free. And then also, box of 30, wrist straps, straps. We're in stock all over the shop. Uh, and if you live in Europe, we're actually warehousing and distributing from Europe. But obviously, if you're in the USA, if you're in the UK, uh, shipping's quick, as always. And um, prices are great. And it supports us. It supports our travel uh, to do this sort of stuff um, and the growth of Weightlifting House. So we appreciate all the support. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I will catch you all on another episode of the Weightlifting House News Show. <laughs>